you've talked about some of the positions that you've held, but talk about some of the actual impact, uh, a, a policy or a directive or something that has actually caused change. As a White House fellow during the Carter administration, uh, the secretary at the time, Joseph Califano, put me in charge of immigration and refugee affairs, which in the late 1970s uh, was not considered a major mainstream issue per se. And I remember quite well in August of 1979, while Secretary Califano and his group were in China on a fact-finding mission, we the United States faced what was then known as the boat crisis, where Vietnamese were fleeing Vietnam, going into the South China Sea, being attacked by pirates and drowning, and suddenly the U.S. government faced a crisis. Do we rescue them? Do we send the U.S. Navy to rescue them? And the reason that was an HHS issue is because uh, to the extent the United States accepts refugees or rescues them, then the U.S. is responsible for the resettlement, and that comes under the purview of HHS, and in particular, the programs under Immigration and Refugee Affairs. And so I recall one day I get a call from the White House saying, uh, we need Secretary Califano in China. We need the deputy in China. They went down the list, and then they asked, <laughs> well, who's left to come to the White House to address his major policy crisis? Well, I may just be a special assistant, but I'm responsible. <laughs> they sent me over, I'm there with the vice president, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and going back and forth, laying out the pros and cons, all the things we learned at the Halder School, the things we can't know, the things we do know, and then, of course, the cost benefit. And finally, they went around the room and they asked everybody to vote. And I'm sitting in the back trying to hide myself because I'm overwhelmed by just the, uh, the, the, the magnitude of what's occurring. And they get to me and ask, who represents HHS? I meekly raise my hands, come to the table. How do you vote? And without any instructions or authority, I voted yes, that settled it. And uh, that led towards the growth of Vietnamese in the US, especially throughout California. And many years later, I met individuals who were rescued in the late 70s by the US Navy. I take great pride that I had a direct role in the right position at the right time with the decision-making and the self-confidence Haller gave me to essentially stick my neck out and act on the best information I had. And so that's just one of many things I feel very good about.